So um, there's not a lot of people out there that can make it to LA, New York, Miami, any of these big cities. What would you say to the person in the small town? How would they go about reaching out to yourselves, other OGs, uh, other people, and, and learn and spread it in their area? Hit me up on Papa Pete, you know what I'm saying? I'm there. I mean, that's the thing what I love about, the, again, this, this modern era of, of, of information or, or this internet or whatever. Before, the only way you, could, you knew about someone, if someone got on the phone and said, yo, dude, I saw you at the mall down at the Lakewood Mall, you get down. Oh man, who was it? I don't know, some black dude, tall, skinny, I don't know his name. He was doing his thing, doing his weird looking movement. And then, they call it someone else, they call it someone else. And then someone may see that particular person getting down. Now, you know, do do sign in. Uh, you see, Poppy. <laughs> Naki. And if you know the particular person you're looking up, hmm, Pop and Pete. How many dang videos he put up this week? Oh, he got my chef videos new. <laughs> you watch it. If you want to, and then again, if you want to ask the, uh, the person that personal question or, 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 or direct question, emails, every, no one, actually no one actually uses email that much anymore. You hit me on Facebook in my inbox. Hey Pete, what do you think about this? Oh man, that's really cool. You got So right now, there's no excuses. None that people cannot, you know, Midwest, uh, back alleys, uh, wherever you live, it doesn't matter. Because if you want, you can't get to LA, LA is on the internet all day long. That's all I got to do. <laughs> they wet. Because even the white people are black out there. Actually, I mean, yes, um, but my, my, my freestyle or improvisational movement uh, goes stems back way before I was popping. I'm, I am a dancer. I'm a dancer yes. who poops. Yes. I understand the, the, the terminology. I understand putting people in whatever. Me, and I, this is me. I'm not speaking for anyone else. I stopped calling myself a popper in a sense. I don't brand myself that way anymore. I'm a dancer who can pop, I can lock, I can groove, I can house a little bit, I can, I can you know, break it, you know, good. I got, I got four steps. <laughs> my whole thing was, you know, because uh, my, you know, watching my parents just uh, when I was young, uh, and they have a uh, house, house parties, and we, and I'm this young kid, and a kid in, in, in a corner, it's, I suppose we in bed, but we sneaking around the hallway looking out like this, and, and moms and pops and hey, like, they just, mm, they just get their kid, we like, and then we in the hallway. <laughs> so on, 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 that, on that freestyle thing, it's always, it's had, it has always been embedded in me, it's, it's part of my DNA. All I did is just apply what I already knew to the dance style that I started learning, which it was the pop and the boogie and all that. So it, 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 it for me, uh, it just came natural because that's where I come from, you know. And I, and, and I say, I know, uh, like being out and teaching in, in, in the world, a lot of people can't, when I start saying freestyle or improvisational, they don't understand that because there, people are, some people are programmed differently. Some people came into the business with five, six, seven, eight, one, two, square, shape of square, one over here. Uh, I, call, I call it uh, dancing by numbers. One and two, four and that. That's nothing wrong, but I'm a person who straight says, put on any beat, and I'm gonna move it the way I wanna move it. Woo! You know, coming up in the golden era of hip hop, freestyle dance was the dance of the golden era of hip hop. If you weren't around it, if you, if you understand, and you have brothers and sisters that were, it's that period, that mid 90s to a late 90s period that, you know, even early 90s, let's even say. Let's say early 90s, really, because you think about New York and Chicago, they were 
ahead of everybody. So in terms of with a lot of that. But two things need to be understood. One is, is that for those of us that came up in that early 90s period, house music was our club music. You know, that was the music that was in clubs. And so this idea of hip house, hip hop house, you had everybody from the Jungle Brothers and, you know, making songs that just crossed that line. You know, you had, that's why you had the Louis Vega and Kenny Dope. You had the house dude and you had the hip hop dude. You know, perfect merger, right? So those of us, we, we again, that era to me, I'll say this, you know, freestyle dance, the only thing to me, the, the, the black spot I have in my memory of the whole thing is, is that as a community in hip hop, we were, we were kind of ostracized as b-boys and b-girls. They didn't like us. Only, if, only, only the really dope freestylers liked us, right? I, I don't need to sound crazy, but what I'm saying, like, it was a fad dance to some degree, too. So you had everybody in the polo, and Nautica, and Tommy Hilfiger, you know what I'm saying? Dreadlocks swinging, let me do a bunch of knee drops. And they, you know, the, the, the song would come out, we're only in one circle, because we didn't have separate circles back then, right? There's just one circle. So we're all waiting to go out, and he's trying to go out and get theirs and his KRS and the boom, that original rap. We're trying to get some of that too, but you know, they would be out there so long, you know, knee drops, all kind of glides. You know, you knew the dope people from the people that really weren't that dope, and you're just like, yo, brother, can you keep a boom? Because I'm trying to get a piece too, you know? So it was kind of, you know, that, 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 that memory is just kind of like, and then you had cats like, you know, that, that were like, Shh. They still in like 82, you know, we go out there, we'd be like, oh, hell no. So you're gonna diss me and say that like our shit out and you're just the, the cool shit? So it was a weird time, but thankfully, everybody got over that and, and we we stayed freestyle and stayed to some degree. But but I'll say this, I just had to add that in because it's something people don't really understand because if they weren't around the dance scene back then, maybe they didn't really see how it was, but, um, Freestyle, what I, what I love is this. Once you get to a point of comfortability in yourself, in your movement, in your vocabulary of movement, and to the vibe that you have as a person, you're, yeah, you're freestyling. But I don't think that happens right away. I don't think that happens right away at all. I mean, I'll tell you this about myself. I was not a dancer before I started to break. At all. Not at all. I was a sports. I was like an athlete. I loved to run cross country. I loved to play soccer, you know what I'm saying? I did my two-step in the club with the drink in the back. I wasn't, I wasn't a dancer at all. So breaking appealed to me because I like the athleticism, the battle, you know, I like the, the, the crazy part about it. And um, so being able to freestyle, be, even learning for me how to dance came way later. And, and I'll even say in the past 10 years, I've gotten way more comfortable with dance in general from working with people like Shabadoo and, and just being around just dope dancers and feeling okay in myself, you know what I'm saying, to get down. Because being in a cruise like Rocksteady, different, coming up at a certain time period, it was an embrace to do a lot of different styles at once. You know what I'm saying? You were this or that. You had to be very concrete this or that. They used to be like, nobody wants to see a B-girl pop or lock or blah, 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 you know, you don't want to see me do that. So I came, that mentality, like, it affected a lot of us. So a lot of us in that certain era that are like, came up in the era I did, we just did one style because we just believed what they told us, you know, we believed what our elders told us. So I, I also don't never do that to people anymore because I feel like you got to express yourself and use it. Like Pete said, it's man, it, you know, they were saying they, you could throw some fela, how are you gonna move to that? You can move to that however you wanna move to that. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be able to be free to be yourself and express yourself. And to be freestyle dance yes, embodies that. It's like, it, it's just, it, it's the ability to really tap into your root essence of movement and get down to whatever song's playing. And I know that was really long, but I just, I had to, I had to paint that picture because it's, it's important for people to, you know, the context of how things have been laid out for us to some degree. Now, you know, I feel like we're, we're in a much, street dance as a community is much more strong. We didn't even really have a community before. It wasn't even considered, I don't know, that even that term street dance wasn't something that I, I people didn't throw that out as much. It was like, okay, well, you're a b-boy, you did this, or you're a locker, you did this, but um, I feel like the community in general is, is much more open and appreciative of different styles of dance. But let me say this, man, 
A freestyle, it is very hard to have a freestyle competition because I've tried it several times. And when people, <laughs> when people enter the competition, they just do a little bit of every style. And I was like, yo, what's happening, man? And then I start thinking, I go, man, I know, because in Europe, they start doing these all styles battles. It was a popular thing to do like about 10 years ago, all styles, all styles. And I remember, because I was in Switzerland with Miss Nick and them, they had a bunch of those, and I was seeing how people got down. I was like, okay, they, for those, you had to show all dance styles. So when we started thinking, like, we just want to do like a freestyle battle, too. You know, I was trying to do the Seven to Smoke tour, and I was like, I want to do a freestyle one, too. And then when the people entered, they just did a little bit of every style. And it was weird. I was like, that's not what I'm talking about, yo. So that part trips me out. And, 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 and it's frustrating. And at the last summit, you know, we had a freestyle panel, you know, I hope I hope some some of those cats were able to shed some light because I think it's it's, it's still a very misunderstood history as well as what it really interprets and what it's about. I think that there's a lot of people that really don't get it. Yeah. I mean, let me piggyback off of that. Now, this I mean, I'll just add to that. The era I come from, far as and I know. When you say freestyle, freestyle means freedom, freedom of movement. See, a lot of people think freestyle is a dance style. Freestyle is not a dance style. Freestyle is just you do what you do when you do what you do. How you do it is freedom of movement. This is the problem. Now, when, when I was uh, going to house parties when I was young, you didn't do one style. You know, and, and, and I know because I'm, you know, because I'm far as the era before her. My thing is when we was in the party, you did as many styles of dance, whether that whatever that latest dance was, if it was two or three or four or five, you learned every one of those and you freedomly moved those dances within and out of each other. This is what is considered freestyle for me. And it's freestyle, really, even even uh, even Western dance, they said freestyle, that means we can, now I don't have to be restricted to one thing. Now once the the whole thing of, uh, came about as far as, you know, the categories of dance styles, as far as street dance or hip hop, everyone forgot how to dance. See, the social dancing is not something that the newer generation know about. No one is going to house party. Man, when the last time have anyone in here went to any club or house party and slow danced? What? What? Y'all don't, don't know nothing about Y'all don't know when we used to walk up to the club and party like King Shoe and so, so fun. You see that girl like that? Yeah. You walk over there and say, and it, it, it wasn't like, like now you go to a club and the dudes are jumping in front of the girl. Come on, girl, get some of this, get some of this. We was, we was gentlemen. Excuse me, uh, can I get this dance? So, so, uh, and you just say, you know what? Let's get our grind on. Put that leg out like this. Going on. Get it in! <laughs> Girls, 
and all the girls came all flying up. They all sitting around in the booth going like this. On the phone? <laughs> What's on Facebook? <laughs> Niggas ain't asking nobody to dance with me. <laughs> you know, you want to go to Fat Burgers after this? <laughs> and if it's just, the guy come over, uh, you thinking she might get a dance? Uh, hey. Hey, <laughs> can I use your cell phone? <laughs> but the thing is, you know, uh, uh, but in all seriousness, the social dance of, of the party dance is not, you know, I know it's grown folks in here that go to club and they get, you know, I mean, it's clubs like that right now. But for the most part, a lot of your, your poppers, your lockers, b-boys, b-girls, they go to parties and they don't socialize. They always, they, everybody's in battle mode, show up mode. Uh, I, I tried to start a club here in LA, me and Hugo, uh, Mr. Smooth. I was on the microphone begging guys, please go ask the girl to dance. They're in circles, battling each other. I'm, and I, and I, if anybody, anybody read my last post, I said, what happened to the days when you used to dance for the girls or dance with the with women. Yeah. Everybody now are you got dudes dancing for dudes. Yeah. Getting getting affection from dudes. Dude, you cut up all night. Get back to socializing, social dance. This is when the freestyle stuff comes back. Alright, next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah.